Hi everyone. So in my last video, um, I start um, working for a lighting design for an office building, um, presenting how you need to import a DVG file um, into dialogues, how you draw a building, how you are drawing the spaces um, inside of that building. And unfortunately, I had just um, realized just one lighting design for an open office. Maybe you remember, if not, um, see the link um, in the description from, um, from my first video where I, I start um, this project. So maybe you remember the office one, we just established a uh, lighting design. It, it was just a, we were using a six by six luminaire, um, a classic solution, I would name it, um, luminaire equipped uh, with, with LEDs. Uh, and in today um, video, I will um, move forward more to lighting design. Um, as you can see, I already finished to draw all the spaces for the office building. And in addition, I add also the furniture for each space uh, just to have more time and to be much faster um, in establishing uh, um, li the lighting design, speak about more about lighting. And um, yeah, let's, let's move on. I will say in the first step, uh, we'll do the lighting design uh, for the corridor um, just to give you some some tips um, when you want to uh, establish it uh, yeah when you want to establish just a, a lighting design for a specific space then it's much easier if you go on the on the settings and on the set calculation you move from the standard to the fast and then exactly you can you see you still have on the story side but we can easily uh, move to the the certain space here we have the office one um, yeah I can just just click a, on the on the lighting calculation so we now we have actually only the space inside from inside of the uh, of the building for which is running the the lighting calculation but in this way if you just uh, do the um, lighting calculation for that space you gain more time so you can concentrate in a much better way on that particular space. And if it's, you don't achieve the right values, then it's much easier to uh, choose another luminaire, add more luminaires. And it's, yeah, you are just, let's say, more focused on the, on the specific space than to the entire, uh, entire um, uh, building. And it also for the performance of your PC or laptop, it helps to just um, be focused on one space. So here, what we have done last time, I will let this as it is. Um, I would, as I said in previous, uh, as previous, I will just move on the corridor. So you see now the the corridor uh, from the building. In addition, I can move back to the story just to see the all entire. So we have realize just the lighting for the open office now in the second step i will just move to the corridor um on the con just a, a hint related to the space as well when you go on the work plane i will say go on the 2d much easier first and then you just click on it on the space um you need to be careful um with the space you need to define because when you do the office building everything will be set up by default to a value of um, let's say 500 lux and then you need to go space by space and you can just edit you go on the general for example and here i did it uh, previously and then you put entrance hall and you see the level uh, the light level requested and uniformity and surrounding area for a, for a corridor. So you have all the de de details you establish, then you can have a look on the work plane. Very important also the work plane for a corridor, it's on the floor level compared with, uh, with an office where you have um, the light level is calculated on 0.8 um, task area. 
on the maintenance, I would say for the time being, we let it uh, 0.8, the maintenance factor. Uh, maybe I will come later with um, a video just to speak about the maintenance factor for indoor application and compare LEDs versus different um, lighting uh, sources like CFL, fluorescent lamps or HDMI. And yeah, let's move on then. Uh, and do the calculation for the office. I will use um, for the uh, corridor a downlight this time, as you can see it here. And I will just close this window. And then I will just, um, to make easier the thing, I will just draw the polygon arrangement. And then um, Dialogs will just make the suggestion for us based on already as i said the requirements related to the 100 lux level which i i, I set up so you need to be careful uh, to set up the correct light level for each space before um, choosing the luminaire for that space and before starting the the lighting calculation in the in the software, that will help you a lot because otherwise um, you'll get more luminaires in that uh, for that space, and then you just wonder why it's like this, and yeah, you lose more time and you'll not be let's say so much efficient. So now, after I close the space, um, we will get automatically. Um, this, let's say the setup of the of the luminaires, we have it here. Uh, as I said, I will go for a fast calculation just for the corridor, taking out all the the other spaces inside of the building. So just click, OK. We can see also a 3D. Of course, the arrangement of the luminaires in this moment. I don't like it to be honest, as it's not center to the middle. But this one we can move it um, after the first first calculation. So now we have the results. You can see it also here. We are below one hundred um, lux level, so we need to add more luminous um, in the second step. I will just move the luminous more to to the center, as mentioned. Now we just need to select them. So I'll move all of them in the middle of the of the corridor. Yeah, that should be. And then I will just click again on the group. And you can just add I'll say I'll just add here eight. Let's see how the changes is done so yeah we have more there here i will just isolate these two and move it back i try to place it in this in the middle of uh, of this space you can also do it, um, to axis and then you just move it there and here i think it's not enough just to have two or just one sorry so I will just add, I'll say, let's place, uh, I'll move this one. I'll just, I'll just select this one, this particular one. Let's see if I can move it independent. Yeah. Okay. And then I just copy and add another one here. Yeah. So now you have two. And here you see it's too much gap. We have also this this spot. Definitely, we need to to add another luminaire. So I will just copy again this point. And so let's run once again the lighting calculation. And let's see the outcome. I will say that this time we should be we should be good. 
with this with this first proposal for the for lighting the the corridor and we should achieve the required level yeah as you can see we have reached the value of 124 on the floor level so we are good to go with with this uh, particular design of course if you want to use a different luminaire it's fine it's just for me i just choose a randomly one as you can see also in the picture here this luminaire will be mounted um, on the ceiling but you can go also for a recess version and also um, you can use um, for example um, six by six luminaire without any problems now let's have a look now how is the corridor looking yeah another thing which you can select it's on the display and you can you can go on the color rendering and you can see for example um, the light level if you just with the mouse you just go here so here it's a little bit yeah low in the middle below the luminaria you will have um, of course high lux level yeah and then between or uh, between the two luminaries you'll have lower you can go as i said also it's very important um to mention the lighting distribution of the of the luminaries maybe with the wider distribution you definitely will get a better uniformity on on the floor level okay so time to to move to the i will say with the meeting room number one uh, i will try to to a fast the lighting design also for this meeting room i will choose a combination between a suspended luminaire um this one for example so this one i will just place it in the middle of the table suspended of course and then on i will go on the surrounding area uh, with uh, recessed downlights for example i would choose this one and here i would just for i would just my god i would just draw a line and i think I, ah, this is need to be straight first of all i'll just delete it once again so should be a straight line yeah i would say we place um, i would say four luminaires for this meeting room yeah maybe a big distance between them here you can play with the distance between the luminaires yeah maybe even bigger let's say two meter uh, let's see what is the outcome yeah to be meter it's too big so let's lay it 1.8 and then i just move it yeah something like that and i will just select once again all four and copy also on the other side of the room yeah just to have a let's say symmetry good now we are on the meeting room and we just we will do the lighting calculation of only for the meeting room let's see which is the outcome we should check also the the light level for a, for a meeting room but should be um, 500 lux likes um, like in case of the office yeah so we are on 452 a little bit below and then i would say we will just place um one uh, go back on the lighting 
and we can place uh, on both sides we can place like we will reduce the to 1.5 the distance between uh, uh, the luminaires and then we will place like um, let's put a little bit bigger distance between them to cover all the space yeah that's okay 1.4 and i will do the same thing on the other side um 1.4 and we just add um five luminance on each row okay this is a little bit it changed automatically but we can just edit once again manually yeah now we are good to go uh, just uh, to have a look on the um, I'll say on the values of the luminar also more plain and here again if you see by default as I mentioned also in the corridor you have standard office and now I will just show you if we can how you can select let's see if we have here uh, we can select the meeting room. No, it's in the we don't have, then we let it office and on the office, let's see here. Yeah, meeting rooms. So it seems that it's still 500 lux level also also for the meeting room and then we are good to go we are fine and we just click once again to do the lighting calculation by adding one luminaire on each side um, i believe that we are above the 500 lux level and we should be we should be okay without any problems so if you miss um my first video when I present the start of uh, the draw building and um, draw the spaces and how you uh, adjust the unit measurement, um, you'll find a link on my first video um, in, this, uh, in this description. Have a look. If you are, want to know more about establishing light design for office, I will come with a part three where we will continue to do the light design for the rest of the spaces. We have an archive, we have a technical room, a dining room, um, and we will do also from the outdoor um, lighting solution for this office building. So please subscribe to my channel, um, follow and add comments about um, the videos, what you want to know more, what's good, what's not so good, Feel free to comment and yeah, follow me on my YouTube channel.